OK, so here's the final video that I'm going to make on long division. And I decided to pick a good one, uh, one where we're going to divide in a trinomial uh, into this polynomial that's going to have a lot of missing terms. So I think this one's going to have a, uh, a lot of good problems where you might be looking and say, well, you know, what are you going to do in this case? The main important thing is we need to make sure our divisor's in our descending order. right? And you can see we have the highest exponent first, and then the next one, which would be x to the first, and then x to the 0, which would be your constant. So we're going to write that in there first. So we have x squared minus 3x minus 2. That's our divisor. And it's going to divide into our dividend of 4x to the fourth. Now, rather than writing 5x as my next term, I'm just going to write down all of the place values we have for our dividend. So it would be plus 0x cubed plus 0x squared plus 5x minus 4. It's not something that's necessary, but it is very, very helpful when trying to understand, or even doing a problem like this that can be very complicated, just to make sure we have all the right values. All right, so again, we always take our first term and divide it into our divisor. So x squared divided into 4x to the fourth is going to be a positive 4x squared. 4x squared times x squared. 4x squared times x squared is going to leave us with 4x to the fourth. But remember, we need to make sure we multiply this times every single one of these terms. So 4x squared times a negative 3x is going to leave us with a negative 12x cubed. And 4x squared times a negative 2 is going to leave us with a negative 8 x squared. And it's just kind of nice to see these place values over here. Because when we subtract, we want to know what are we subtracting it from. So again, we put them in parentheses and we subtract. So we need to make sure we subtract each one of these terms from our top row. So 4x, fourth, 4x to the fourth minus 4x to the fourth is 0x to the fourth. 0x cubed minus a negative 12x cubed is going to be a positive 12x cubed. 0x squared minus a negative 8x squared is going to be a positive 8x squared. All right, Then we go ahead and go back through the division again. So x squared divides into 12x cubed a positive 12x times. Now we need to make sure we multiply that times each and every one of our terms. So 12x times x squared is going to be a 12x, uh, 12x cubed. 12x times a negative 3 is going to be a negative 36x squared. And 12x times negative 12 is going to be a negative 24x. Then we can see to subtract these, I need to bring down. I need to bring down a positive 5x. So now let's go ahead and subtract the rows. OK, so 12x cubed minus 12x cubed is 0x cubed, which is just 0. 8x squared minus a negative. 36x squared is going to be a positive 44x squared. And 5x minus a negative 24x is going to be a positive 29x. Now again, we're only taking our divisor and dividing it into our first term. So x squared divides into 44x squared a positive 44 times. Now I need to take 44 and multiply it by each one of my terms. So 44 times x squared is going to be a positive 44x squared. 44 times negative 3x is going to be, let's see here, that would be um, 44, 88, um, 44, 88. So that would be a 44 and 88. So that would be 132, I believe. 132x. Um, 44 times a negative 3x. That's going to be a negative, though. And then 44 times negative 2 will be a negative 88. Now I need to bring down this negative 4. So that's a negative 4. So I can subtract my rows. OK, so 44x squared minus, oh, I've got to make sure I put them in parentheses and then subtract. 44x squared minus 44x squared is going to be a 0x squared, which is just 0. 29 minus a negative 132 is now going to be a positive, And that's going to be 161x. And then we have negative 4 minus a negative 88, which is going to be positive 92. 
Therefore, we see that x squared could not divide evenly into 161x. So therefore, this is going to be our remainder. To write our equation, our quotient, we'll write 4x squared plus 12x plus 44 plus our remainder, which is 161x plus 92, all over our divisor, which is x squared minus 3x minus 2. So that will be our quotient for this division problem. Thanks.